All right, well, I know that none of y'all give two fucks because, of course, Konami did their whole, uh, you know, their adjustment list, and, oh my god, I put up a video asking, hey, do you guys want me to do a reaction to this? And in the comment section, I shit you not, in the comment section of that video, they were like, do the reaction to the adjustment, do the reaction to the adjustment, I shit you not. While you guys are all commenting that, it was just uploading to YouTube, and YouTube is being a piece of shit, sitting there 0% processing for fucking forever, but hey, at least I got it up, so there you go. It was, I already had it done before you guys said it, but uh, pretty much put up a video, I was like, hey, do you want me to do a, a reaction, uh, fine bros, please don't sue me, shit out of me, to uh, Dev Pro's list, which pretty much doesn't mean shit now uh pretty much they were like hey you know we solved pp and we're gonna go ahead and uh see like hey did they do it as well at least as well Konami did and uh pretty much just go over at that process it's like hey you want me to do it no no yes yes give me 10 likes on this video it got 10 likes plus no dislikes surprisingly so here it is they're gonna go ahead and do this this video may take a while go over each card i don't want to take too long but they did a lot a lot as you can see they're gonna go down to each one and talk about it so starting off banned exodia they're like fuck that sacky shit i mean all right all right uh if if tcg decided to ban exodia i wouldn't even bat an eyelash i mean it's not the sacky deck right now because right now the the sacky deck is that whole uh what is that that uh, chicken race new formation monarch bullshit that you saw on Mega Capital Juice channel. So that's a new hot shit. So, uh, yeah. But as you can clearly see, there's another card banned there as well. Uh, so, Exodia. Exodia banned. None of that sacky shit. That's fine. Uh, Necroface banned. Uh, Necroface is currently up too, and it's not too terrible. I'm assuming that they hit Necroface because they did something with Goldsark. Because that's another thing, you know. Uh, it's just Goldsark. You know, I guess they brought up Goldstark back up to maybe two or three, so they're like, we'll ban uh, Necroface, and you don't have to worry about that whole milling out your deck, so none of that sack of shit. Uh, moving on, uh, Uniforia, the mythical beast of the force? Who the fuck is that? That's what I bet that's everyone is saying. So, uh, I actually brought it up here, so we're actually going to have a little card review here on this video. So this is actually this. You might have seen this card, you may have not. Uh, this is This is it, though. Uh, pretty much all monsters, if all monsters in your graveyard are beast type monsters, you could tribute this card. Suppose someone wouldn't be type monster from your hand or graveyard, except for this, but it cannot attack this turn. And you're like, what the fuck? Why did they ban that? Like, I don't get it. Oh, look at all these ads. I, oh my god, I know him. I know him. I actually watched his, uh, his, uh, uh Good Eats and, uh, the, I, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> and his, uh, what is it? Uh, Cutthroat Kitchen. <laughs> uh, shout out to him, but, uh, no. Seriously, uh, you're probably wondering, like, what's the, what the fuck? Um, yeah, why'd they ban uh, Uniforia? Because uh, you can see right here, they brought back Sangan, so of course I can ride Sangan, and they brought back Rescue Cat, which that can bring Rescue Cat. But of course, you still have Call of the Hunt, and Wings, so it doesn't even matter shit. Like, I don't think you gotta go to the extreme of banning Uniforia just to bring back fucking Rescue Cat. Just don't bring back Rescue Cat! Simple as that. Some shit. Uh, but yeah, so they wanted to bring back Rescue Cat, they did that. Wind Up Hunter, so of course they moved some shit with Wind Up, so Wind Up Hunter is banned. Um, Wavering Eyes, they banned Wavering Eyes. And that's the thing that Death Pro did that, uh, of course, Konami didn't, is that they did Wavering Eyes. Uh, I don't think that you have to go to the extreme of banning Wavering Eyes. Uh, just probably just the one. I think one is fine. Of course, you guys already saw my balance prediction, but one, I think it's fine. Uh, it would just be a searcher card at that one point. Uh, you're not getting, but I guess it would, uh, if you're not getting the whole thing, they, you shouldn't, I guess they're like, if you're not getting the whole thing, you shouldn't get none of it. I guess that's what they're thinking. But at least at one, you can still use a searcher card. Sure, you will never get that fourth effect because you don't have an additional wavering eyes. And if you ever do search an additional wavering eyes, because I wasn't cheating, but, uh, you know, the whole pop two scales, get a search, that's not too terrible. But if the, if Konami or, or, you know, or anybody wants to go to the extremes of, uh, or of banning my right, guys, I have no complaint there, you know, too. So, uh, three, no. Two, no. One, yes. Ban, sure. You know, that's how I think of it. Uh, moving on, Magical Explosion. So, there you go. That That's the new sacky shit. Uh, Magical Explosion is a card that's been sitting at one for forever. We, you know, burn, uh, your opponent, to, I think it's 300 times how many spell cards you have in the graveyard. I think that's it. Uh, the burn is seriously real. Uh, it's been at one for freaking forever. And it's one of the key cards in Chicken, uh, Chicken Race FTK. Um, I personally don't think that Magical Explosion has to be banned. I mean, it's a sacky card, I get that, but I don't think it needs to be banned. Uh, personally, I don't think that nothing in the Chicken Race game thing, because it doesn't top as much, or at least enough to be relevant. I think, it, like I said, we saw a blip of it on a regional, but not enough to be on the radar still. But, uh... If anything, I think it should be Life Equalizer. I think that should be the shit. Like, that should be gone. Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, because our life points are so different, now they're even? Like, what? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, if Life Equalizer was banned, and, and, and when you can really consider it, I mean, it's kind of like fucking, like, uh, uh, what's that other draw card that's banned? I forgot what the name of it is. It's been banned for so long. It got banned, and we haven't heard of it since. Oh, my God. What's the name of that fucking card? 
off the top of my mind, you, you guys don't need to tell me, but, you know, it's like, hey, you know, we're, you know, draw, you know, it's pretty much like that. It's essentially like a dumbed-down version of that with a life equalizer. It's just like, hey, our life points are so different, so let's make them even. And then now since our life points are even, I'm going to magical explosion you for game. So if you just ban life equalizer, then, you know, how to have much, there's no, there would not be enough spell cards in the graveyard to blow your opponent up completely with fucking magical explosion. So, I don't know. I don't know, but you want to go ahead and ban Magical Explosion, sure. That, that's, a, that's a cleanup, I guess. And then, Fans Pro Bottom Burn, another one of them, Saki Loopy Burn cards. So, Exodia ban, Magical Explosion ban, and Blade Phoenix ban on their list. Alright, so getting rid of the Saki shit, sure. Alright, uh, moving on. We have Atlantean Dragoons limited to one. So, uh, multiple Dragoons, you guys have seen it, and Atlanteans just, you know, send, dra you know, <laughs> summon, send Dragoons, Dragoon searches, and then, uh, with Neptibus, and then search the Murder Megalon, search all the search, so it's like, alright, alright, uh, uh, currently, TCG, we have two. OCG also has two. So, there's no precedence. It just seemed like they just wanted to go ahead and put Dragons down to two. So, alright. Uh, Demok coming back with Lerata. Sure. Uh, and, and here we see. Hey, look! Your nigga Shadows is free! But they also hit Shadow Mist. So, they, uh, that's one of the big problems. They went ahead and hit Shadow Mist as well. So, uh, is it worth it? Like I said, is it worth it? I don't think so. I really don't. Because now you... Uh, under Depro's list, you can't even really play Heroes. Or Mass Heroes. You can try to attempt to play your bubble beat, but the game is so much faster than you that it's not even, you know. So I hope it's worth, you know, freeing your nigga Stratos to hurt your new and strongest, arguably strongest version of your deck, your Mass Hero. So, meh. Uh, moving on. Dark Destroyer Limited. Wow. Uh, if you're ever going to hit Cosmos, and like I said, eventually we'll get to that. I don't think they're going to hit Cosmos anytime soon in TCG. That's their, their, that's their TCG exclusive cash cow. I mean, look how long they took to hit Burning Bits. But if you were ever going to hit Cosmos, like, fuck all the noise, fuck all the everything. I want money. We're hitting Cosmos. Dr. Shroyd 1 is actually a pretty good choice. I, I think that's good. Because uh, it would lower the consistency in the shenanigans of multiple Dark Destroyers, you know? They would have to slow it down a bit. You wouldn't get Dark Shroyd, Dark Shroyd, Dark Shroyd, Dark Shroyd. So, uh, that's a pretty good choice. I must say, that's... That, Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Uh, they limited Plush Fire, of course, in our TCG temporary, uh, unless we have a Plush Fire banned. So, all right, all right. So, they decided to limit it. Uh, Monkey Board, limited. We also have limited. All right. Uh, Rescue Cat. They brought back Rescue Cat. No. <laughs> no. Simple as that. No. You know, you don't need it. Especially since it's not once per turn, and you, and you tribute it to the graveyard, so you can arrive it and still have more shenanigans with Rescue Cat. Like, like... Can, can you name one deck that could top with Rescue Cat? I don't need to name a, a deck that tops Rescue Cat. Rescue Cat's a Saki card within itself. It creates loops and shenanigans. Like, give him an example. Multi fucking okay, God. Because I because because again, it's been so long that I don't remember Rescue Cat that well, so I don't think it's not that bad. But you tell me. <sighs> okay, all right. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Because as far as all I right, all right, I got you. I got you. I go got ahead. you. Go ahead. Fuck you. I got you. All go right. Go ahead. Summon Rescue Cat. Tribute. Summon two beasts from my deck? Hmm, two level three beasts, right? I, uh, yeah, it's, uh, two Medolches. That, that's a one card tier Masu right there. That is a one card tier Masu right there. Summon, summon Kitty Cat, summon Hoop Cake, banish the, uh, the, the, uh, the Rescue Cat, summon my Mesh Gelato, search XC, detach, summon XC tier Masu right there. One card. One card. That can be used multiple times. There you go. Like I said, uh, pretty much as soon as you touch anything with beast related, it's stupid. Like, Rescue Cat was broken. We make, we change it. We make a normal version. No one wants to play fucking normal monsters. Rescue Rabbit with more restrictions. That's at one. So clearly, even the freaking reworked version of it is still busted. So no, no. And like I said, I don't think you need to run around Rescue. I mean, you don't need to bring Rescue Cat back. It's fine. You don't need to ban fucking Euphoria. Like, who the fuck is that? Like, no. No one's going to play that shit. Like, because cause you have to have only beast type monsters in your graveyard. Then you tribute it to summon back another beast? Like, no. I, I, how about I not play her, play any monsters I want, including beasts, and then just use revival cards like Call the Hunted Oasis, and then do Rescue Cat. Like, no. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, they brought back Sangan. All right. I mean, so I'm not sure if Konami ever plans on bringing back Sangan. It seems like it's the poster child of the ban list now. Anytime they do any card related, uh, referring to the list, it's always Sangan on there somewhere. So, it just seems like they just want him banned just so they can be the poster child of being banned. Uh, Draco face off. All right. Uh, card destruction, no. <laughs> uh, gateway, no. Pendulum call, that's a little extreme to go from three to one. Like, that, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Uh, Pot of Avarice. No. <laughs> you, you, you have Jar of Avarice, like, no. <laughs> if, you, if you really need to recycle cards that bad, then use Jar of Avarice. And in that case, then you argue, like, oh, it's not for the recycle, it's for the Jar, then if it's just for the Jar, then no, because then it's a Pot of Greed. 
<laughs> so either way you look at it, either if you're doing it for the cycling, you have drawer, and if you're doing it for the draw, then it's pot of greed. So no, uh, super poly, I guess you could probably bring that back. Brio, hell no, fucking Brio, get out of here. Some other limited cards, Darkum two, no, fucking OCG tried that for one list, put it up to two, and then immediately put it back down to one. So no, uh, it's the British dragon. Yeah, you could do that. Diva, so they brought dragoons back to one but they brought diva up to two so it increases the consistency of your neptibus plays but you don't you don't have one dragoon so you can't do the dragoon shenanigan shenanigan shenanigans you can do dragoon shenanigans still because you can still go ahead and you know neptibus send dragoon send you know uh get a search of a different atlantean dragoon search you her megalo special summon send a megalo tribute send uh tribute neptibus her double attack summon back dragoon so you still have shenanigans and then if you summon another Mermel monster, another Megalo, Megalo tribute that Dragoons who will get you another search. So there's still shenanigans, but, you know, so in increase uh, the consistency of Neptibus by lowering the gen Dragoons shenanigans a little bit. So, okay. Uh, I wouldn't, I, I personally, if, if Konami did that, I wouldn't mind that switch. I, I personally wouldn't mind that switch because I've been seeing more Dragoons shenanigans than I've been seeing Diva shenanigans because Diva is only as good as the monster that it's summoning, which is the majority of the time Neptibus. So, I mean, I guess it's a tuner. You can go ahead and do Synchro monster, Synchro summoning as well. So I guess you got to put that argument for Diva as well. So, okay. Uh, Genix Highly Birdmander 2. I mean, he, he had that still loopy thing. So, okay. I said he, he, he went down to one. He hasn't been moved since, but I'm not sure if the whole loop and shit is cleared up. Uh, Inferni Archfiend 2, no, I hate Infernities, but alright. Dragonfly 2, hell no. Like, did you move Hornet? Did you move Hornet? I don't see that you moved Hornet, so I guess you just include Dragonfly to 2 without moving Hornet. Still no. Like, still no. Like, no. You can either, either, either you put Dragonfly to 3 and ban Hornet, or you put Hornet to 3 and leave Dragonfly at 1. Like, there's no in between at all. Uh, uh, Farm Girl to 2. Okay. So. Dark Destroyer to 1, Farm Girl to 2, that's not a too terrible hit. Let's grab it to 2, I already talked about that. Uh, Skull Car Bad Joker to 2, uh, it's at 1, so alright. Redem to 2, no, no more Redem, 1 Redem, 1 Redem, <laughs> alright. Multiple Redem, if, like, if you guys aren't subscribed to uh, Lithium 2300 and his cross ban list cup, he's playing the fucking Redem, the uh, fucking Heretic, Heretic deck with the 3 Redem, and that deck goes stupid as crazy. No, 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 1 Redem, no, 1 Redem. Thunder King, no, like, uh, I say, uh, Thunder King is a one card. He really is. And if you say, so, oh, OCG, they're a faster game. They really are. A Necro is a Unicorn, too. I mean, what? But it still contains the current hit. So, Shrit is still banned and, and uh, Brio is still at one. So, like I so you might see that occasional deck trying to freaking hit you with the Trish and they fuck up and they don't get it and they quit. But besides that, no. So, I guess. Alert, two, sure. Defavor, two, no. Mind Control, two, eh. Reasoning, two, not necessary. Roto, two, two. You, you didn't do any Teller Knight hits, so no. Like, you want to go ahead and switch to Reddit for the Tellers, then sure, but you didn't do that, so no. Anti Spell Fragrance, not necessary. Sanctum, no. Barrier, no. Infernity Barrier, no. Like, if, if you're going to up Archfiend to two, then you should keep Barrier still at one. Ring Destruction to two, uh, you're copying off the OCG because you have two Ring Destruction. Soul Drain to two, no. Uh, and unlimited morale talk to three. Hell no. Like, what the, what the fuck with people saying morale talk? I swear to God. Like, like I said, Lithium 2300, cross bandless Cup, just see anything with the Artifact Engine. I think he did the cross Cup for 2015, and, and despite how powerful fucking, uh, you know, Herotic, uh, fucking Dark Matter Dragon Ruler shit is, Shadal's with Artifact Engine 1, just because of all the fucking Morale Talk, pop, pop searching, non-targeting spot popping, ridiculous. Like, no, we don't need an engine like that. Morale Talk to 1 should stay at 1. No, none of that Artifact Engine shit. Cross Trooper to 3, okay, I guess. Alright, Chaos Emperor Dragon. I'm assuming that's with the errata, because if without the errata, it's crazy. I mean, even with the errata, he's still pretty crazy. I'm assuming it's with errata, and then you just copy it off of OCG because they have him at 3 in the OCG. Okay. Honest at 3. Hell no. Fucking honest. I'm tired of losing fucking duels because of honest. It's been happening a lot this week, so no. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, honest. Salty. Hell no, but. Salty. Has... Fucking honest, man. Salt. Salt so, so let me get Salt straight. You, you give Light Monsters 3 honest now. You get Rota 2, like, you just want Talon Knights. Like, you didn't even address anything with Talon Knights, despite them still doing the tits. Still, at times. Like, no. Uh, 3 Summoner Monk. Probably still no. Like, Why? Uh, just because it summons from the deck, level 4, like that. And we don't have any precedence at, at 3. You know? Like, we have it at 2. OCG has it at 1. Their, deck, their decks are faster. That's what I'm saying. So if the Liberals over there, they have it at 1... 
wins the president for three. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Uh, Tragedy 3, sure. Uh, Wind Up Magician. So you banned Hunter. I don't, I don't see... Oh, you, you bought... Damn, so you just said three uh, Wind Up Magicians and three carries. You're just like, fuck it all. Mm -hmm. I think you I think you just copied off the OCG right there. Adventure Show, okay. Book of Moon, just straight up from one to three. Hell no. Uh, Book of Moon, like I said, Book of Moon is good as you fucking... As, as whatever it is. Like, if Book of Moon goes to three, you'll see three Book of Moon. Mm -hmm. Like, especially in this fucking format right now. Like, hell fucking yeah. Fucking... All right. Well, you, you know, some, there's not a lot of not too many monarchs that play uh, uh, March, right? So they'll probably drop the monarch and then play Phil Spell. You can't really get over it, right? Book of Moon. Now you don't have a choice on monarch. Fuck you up, Book of Moon. Fuck up your infinity. Oh wait, you can't really bust them out. But Book of Moon, your infinity. You gonna negate that? Okay, go ahead. Now I'm gonna fuck you up. You know, yeah. like it, it's it's one of those cards. It's one of those cards. Like the only reason why Book of Eclipse was even considered. Back in times of the lock format with the fucking necros and the shit like that, is because we didn't have multiple book of moons. If we had multiple book of moons, they wouldn't have been. Well, maybe because it targets and, you know, you have cards to necros, cards to protect targeting, but still, no. Book of moons ridiculous. Like, it, 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 despite being a quick play spell, it's still in the same boat as Compulse and Bottomless and all them good things. Uh, Butterfly, Dagger, Elma. Doesn't that still have loops? Yeah, it still has loops because they didn't hit Gear Free. Yeah, they didn't hit shit. They didn't hit Gear Free or Royal Magical Library. Yep, so that still has loops, so good and job. And they put Rota to two. <laughs> yeah, so. But I guess, uh, but I guess because they addressed all the other second cards, because like, they banned Exodia, they banned, uh, uh, they banned. Uh, There's still burn loops for it. There's still burn loops for it. Yeah, and so, uh, so I guess you try to clear up some, clear up another. Uh, I, I called the gold side going to three because you uh, put Necroface down to zero, but. All right, like I said, I still don't like Gold Sark. I still think Gold Sark is kind of those cards again. One, because it's literally a two-turn wait even out for any card in your deck. That's powerful when it's this out. If you don't want to play Gold Sark, that's your problem. But when you look at it on paper, yeah, two turn wait for, even out for any card in your deck, spell trap, monster, anything you want, like that's on power. On paper, yeah, but, that's power. But but not so. Again, we see it, and nine times out of ten, especially how fast the deck, the game is today, they're not gonna wait them two turns. Not even mm -hmm. close. Because as soon as you like, especially if they do something good like Ray or some shit like that, you're like, oh, you're gonna search that two turns. Well, I'm gonna wreck the shit out of you before you even get a chance. I said, I, I, but, uh, I still think it's a very powerful yeah, card. It, it's it's caused its problems in the past, so it's up to them. But they haven't really touched it since Dragon Rulers. Because you, you know, go yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Dragon yeah, Rulers. Yeah, 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 I, I, I was there. I was there. <laughs> he waits till it comes in the middle of the night screaming. Scream! Uh, Rekindling really up to three, so I guess. Uh, I mean, I, uh, Forever Epic, if you want to. If you want to, you could play the Dev Pro list. No one's going to play that shit. Yeah, but you've got three Rekindling. Like, yeah. And then three Capulse and three Torrental. Come on, man. It's way too much back row. Like, holy shit. Right. This is way too much back row. Like, wow. And I guess I like that you have Twin Twisters. And I don't want to hear that. And and MST I don't want to hear that shit. Taps. Hell no. Damn. No. That's too much back row. Like, I couldn't, I, I couldn't play under that. Hell I no. I wouldn't be playing the Compulses, but I'd be playing the Torrentals all day. All day. Like, holy shit. A Regeki, two Dark Holes, and three Torrentals. Like, holy shit. You ain't doing shit. You're never going to have any monsters. Ever. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Like, okay, I'm still wiping your shit. Yeah, I don't yeah. care if you go out of extra deck, you still don't get it off today. Mm -hmm. This turn, so I say that this is another OCG cup. And uh yeah, there you go. So there is uh, the uh the the Dep Pro list. If you want to see an image, here you go. So uh Dep Pro Custom. Ooh. Like I said, I seriously doubt this uh, anybody will play under this, especially with uh uh, what TCG Konami just put up, but hey. Well, you know, what's your yeah. biggest problem with this list? If you have to pick, like, your top three biggest problems with it, what would it be? All right, my top three yeah. biggest problems Go with this Go three to one, you know? Three to one. Okay, all right. Three to one. Yeah. One being the biggest, three being the like, uh. All right, so three. All right, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking over everything, and I'm just like, okay, that's fine. That's in, and, 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 uh, three would probably be... Brio. All right, why? Cause fuck Brio, man. <laughs> All right, <laughs> as simple as that. Fuck Brio. Like no, hell no. Fuck no. Still no. I don't care. I don't care. Cause Compulse is go goes is good and bad depending on the format. Like right. it goes up and down. Like it may be good now, but it might be great later. Mm -hmm. You know. I think. I, I like I said. I think that's also a, a OCG hit, a thing. I think OCG still has Brio. They might. I mind. I, I can't remember the top of mine. So probably Brio. Brio going up to not coming off the list because I don't like that. Like there's no rod or anything. They didn't even change it to be like once per turn or shit. I still like because again you're discarding and there's so many decks that plus off a graveyard. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking off the top. Of my, I don't like that one Phantom Knight deck. 
that they can banish from the graveyard to add shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking they're, just, they're, yeah. going they're, they're level like three, that. so you yeah, just throw exactly. in a level three tuner and go to town on this yeah. shit. So, yeah. Birdman. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. You give him two Birdman. Yeah, there you go. Know, and then they could just go off like banish, banish, you know, clear your field, and then they start going ham. Uh, my number two is probably just the return of all the back row, like more compulse, back more Toronto, more Ring of Destruction, like more back row. Okay, like, but I'm, as I'm seeing most of the decks, you know, like more, Monarchs, Pepe, more Booker. Stuff, they're not playing back row. They're, I don't uh, care. You said personally. I know. I know. I'm just. just, just How am I supposed to fucking entertain people on daily duels when I'm getting fucking hit with triple Toronto, triple compulse, triple Booker Moon, triple fucking all that okay. shit? So I only got yeah. so many twin tears here. So you're pretty much saying this because most uh, the meta won't play it, people will still play it sometimes. Yeah, like, I, I, I get it. You know, you wouldn't concern the meta, but Debra, you know, you're concerning everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so I don't like that. And then my number one, the artifact shit. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Like, no. Like, holy shit. Not even fucking OCG has all them fucking morale tags and sanctums and shit. Like, no. Like, home. Yeah, that's my biggest one to play. You know? Like I said, I'm assuming Chaos Emperor is with, is with Zorado, oh, but, yeah. with, but even that, I mean, if we would see it, we would see it, right? Yeah, and we don't see it, so, alright. Now, if you want to go ahead and wipe everything, you still don't get to do anything for the rest of the turn, so. While it's not the best Zorado you could do with him, it's not terrible, yeah, so, yeah. You know, it's like, it's like you were Arada and brought Demok to one, but, and he's not even bad, it's Chaos Emperor at three, so, yeah. Also, read him. There's a lot of things, but still. So there you go, people. Went ahead and uh, looked at Depro's custom list. So uh, tell me what you guys think about it. You know, and of course, I know you're not going to be playing, and you're going to be playing on the freaking uh, TCG thing. But still, tell me what you guys think about their list. Uh, tell me what changes you like, what changes you don't like, and just like I said, it's a conglomerate of copying OCG along with just a little bit of butt hurt. So so, and then a little bit more butt hurt, more than ARG's butt hurt. Yeah. And it's just like, hey, we wanted to take it. It was a lot of copy and pasta, copy pasta from OCG, and then a lot of just probably just them sitting down and talking with people about what they want. You know, it seems like a, a, a really a player based list. Not a, a lot of, uh, but you know, who cares? The pro. <laughs> you know, it's like, who cares? It's not like uh, Depro is trying to make a business, you know? Like, they're not trying to promote shit, so, yeah. You know, I wish they would have done a little bit more to Monarchs. Cause they didn't do shit to monarchs. I kind of wish he would have done a little bit to that. Cause that's that's still annoying. Isn't I, I think they were just trying to pump other stuff up or consistency, yeah. like they're trying to even things out. So it it's, like, it's like you took a bat to PP, you took a bat to Cosmo, so you're just pretty much screaming that you want monarchs to do the tits. So all right. I'm almost salty about the Cosmo. Yeah, just, just a little bit. So all right, because it's not even the top tier deck. It's not even the second best deck. So. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Sorry it took long, but there was a lot of cards to look at, a lot of discuss. Thank you, Renny, for joining me, I guess. It kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't well, planning on him being here, but he came here anyway. <laughs> All right, so anyway, thanks for watching. Peace! Peace. Thank you, damn! <laughs>